Swamp Land version 2022 has introduced a new command that allows you to easily display information from other drawings within the same project or information from other projects. Swamp Land can now create nested regions, which can either be an entire drawing file or a selected region from within a drawing. Once a source region has been defined, it can be easily inserted into any project. Here we have a standard details project with several construction details and a general notes drawing. On the construction details drawing, the details on the left represent that of a brick and siding wall from the eave to the foundation. These details are needed for a house design of the same construction along with the general notes drawing. To allow these specific construction details to be added to another project, a nested region can be created by selecting which details are to be included in the nested region. To create the nested region, select File, Nest, and Create Source Region. Draw an expanding box around the details and enter a name for that region. Other nested regions can be created from within the same drawing and labeled accordingly. Once the required nested regions are defined, these can now be inserted into other projects. First, we will add the walls detail in the main floor plan drawing. With the main floor plan drawing open, select File, Nest, Insert Drawing or Region. Select Choose Drawing to access the standard details project and select the construction details drawing. Select Insert Region from Drawing and choose the desired region. Select OK, then place the region where needed and click. Next, we will add a general notes to this project by creating a new drawing to hold the general notes information. To add the nested region, again select File, Nest, Insert Drawing or Region. Select Choose Drawing and open the standard Details project again, this time choosing the General Notes page. Select OK, then place the region where needed and click. By editing the nested region, we can select Automatically Sync with Source. This will allow the general notes in this project to automatically update itself if the original general notes are needed to be modified. In the main floor, we can edit the nested region there. This time we'll turn off the Nested Entities Use Color to allow the details to display their original object colors. We will also leave automatically sync with source off. If changes are needed to be made to the original standard project, any target project that uses any nested region can be resynced with the original source project. We will open the standard details project again. First, let's modify the brick siding detail. For the roofing, we'll change from 5 8 sheathing to 3 quarter.
and we'll change the R value from R32 to R40. In the general notes, we need to add a section for exterior cladding. With these changes made, to have all projects relying on these notes as a nested region update to the same changes, select File, Nest, Resync Active Regions. Now let's open the previous house project to see the updated changes. The General Notes page has automatically updated to include those changes made, as it was edited to automatically sync with the source. The wall details on the main floor plan drawing have not been updated, as it has not been selected to automatically sync with source. However, by right-clicking on the nested region, we can manually select Resync Region and it will update accordingly. With SawPlan's new nested region tools, it has become increasingly easy to keep common construction details and notes up to date. And the tool is not limited to just the examples given, but can be adopted to any number of uses where areas of a drawing are needed to be repeated within the same project or within multiple projects.